2. Enemy raiding fleets attacked the empty space between Helios Alpha and Beta. When the first fleet was picked up, Anvil was dispatched to intercept. This was a trap. While Anvil was busy, this left our second fleet, or rather, half a fleet, still underpowered and undermanned, as a set of fresh reinforcements known as Spear to be ambushed while waiting for a fuel shipment. Outgunned and without Tilium for the necessary emergency FTL, the only thing Lieutenant LeMond could do is fight, and fight they did in an impressive display. The Darmok ran full speed into an enemy vessel, destroying both. The Griffin, the assassin of the Bearcat, managed to take down all but one remaining ship and its fighter escort before succumbing to the overwhelming enemy fire. Though this marks the first total loss of the colonial fleet since the war began, it represents a significant force loss for the Cylons, and it'll be a battle to be remembered. Hello, ladies and gents, Captain Shaq here to welcome back the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, continuing the campaign. We had some casualties last week. I post my losses, and last week was a rough one. We lost a, a building up fleet. We didn't have enough Tilium, enough fuel to actually jump some fleets out. So that was probably one of the hardest hitting episodes that we've had so far. But we're still in this fight. We still have the Daedalus fleet ready to go under the Shadow Death Europa and the Raven, all three battle stars. We've got Anvil ready to go minus a support ship because I can't keep them alive to save my life. And we've, or at least their lives. And Sword Fleet. We did lose Spear. Spear was destroyed. No, wait a minute. Hammer's back there. Yeah, we lost Spear. That was the, the one that wasn't completely ready to go or build up. Now we, oh man, we, we're gonna have to do some fleet repair for one thing. Uh, 94, that puts us down to 125. Does anybody else need repairs before we end this turn and let some money come in? Because I know we don't have enough enough money for, oh, like we need to move this battle star. Actually, we can jump the battle star. Let's move that battle star back here back to the fleet until it's built up. You guys are not allowed to lead the protection of the other fleets, even though that won't save you, until we have uh, enough fuel to jump you if you need to run away or build you up so you can actually fight on your own. Uh, I was a little frustrated with the dual enemy fleets popping in and not knowing how strong the two of them are and which one one fleet or the other should go after. That kind of sucked. Because um, if we would have flipped that, I think we would have won it last week with the smaller fleet. But it is what it is. Um, you know, fog of war, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's get some money coming in. Also, real fast, three ships on the queue. Nope, and we don't have the money to change it. Really? We don't have three ships in the queue? Oh, we do have three ships. It just didn't show up. The carrier fleet is beginning to be produced. So it looks like uh, the red dragon is going to be part of that carrier fleet that we're building up, uh, which is really, really neat. Can we put you guys on uh, Mark II's? Mark II, Mark II. Guided missile, guided missile. I'm okay with that. And then the toaster roaster, you're gonna be, let's just do guided missiles for you two. Keep it simple, toaster roaster, ending the turn. Detected a Cylon escort fleet, sir. Man, another fleet just showed. So we still have four Battle on the Star board, but we know there's hostile. a fifth just out of sensor range somewhere. Uh, we are being engaged. And it looks like somebody has got the freaking nuts and bolts to come after Anvil Fleet, which is just silly. 100% chance to win. At least we'll wipe one of these off the board. Auto resolve, good job. Anvil. Wreck face. All right. We've also got the Deadless Battle Group, who is short a member. But the only reason they're short a member is because their fleet is so heavy, they can only take a scout if we had a spawn for them, I think. I think they have enough room for a scout, which we don't have right now, which maybe we'll put a, a couple of, we'll put a couple of, um, of scouts on their mana cores on the list. Now that we have nukes, that would have been really, really useful. Uh, this is the story mission. Hmm. Do we want to give it a go? I'm going to say yes. Let's proceed. Might as well. We're pretty much ready to fight it. That's why Deadless is there. Requires the presence of the Deadless at this mission marker. Oh, this was the one with the mining installation that we're evacuating. Right, we have to have the Deadless, which of course is being uh, potentially intercepted. So we're gonna do, we're gonna try this. We're gonna do a dube stack. Man, look at the Battlestar scale difference of the Minerva. It's massive. You've got PCMs on you, nice. The Europa's got 
Mark II's and Torpedoes. And the Raven is Mark II's and Torpedo. So twin Torpedoes set up. Uh, let's... I'm going to put you in the back back here for now. And we'll see what the enemy has as they move it closer into range. And then we may have to break these two groups up. Uh, but we're going to do big old walls. I don't actually know. Is this this may be the first Minerva that we've deployed, if I'm not mistaken. Prepare to jump in three, two. Bring it in. One. The opiate system. Frack! All of our systems are fried. What? The entire fleet is dead in the water. I'm not above saying that I warned you all. Sinan, can you let a single moment pass without some smug comment about how everyone else is wrong and... Not to interrupt your little powwow, but your wireless is flashing. I'm glad you picked up, Commander. I wanted you to know that I came personally to see you off. It's unfortunate that Admiral Kane isn't with you. But if I can't get to the head, at least I can cut off the right arm. Oh, these bastards. Weapons free! For the Democratic Union! For Sagittarion! Saber Bravo, thank you for the tier one sub. Oh, we're in a minefield, too. So not only have we just jumped in, we've jumped in surrounded by mines. Wonderful. All units. Launching alert vipers. Launch your vipers. Let's... We're not a very fast unit. We're not a very fast fleet. But let's go ahead and start turning away from those mines. Get the fighters out. Hopefully we're not going to hit those mines. I think we're okay. Oh, look at it. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the Minerva is either going to be something we have to keep low or pointing forward. Yeah, we'll hold. We'll hold until we have a target. All right, Raptors, let's go. They're launching more mines. Half the fleet is turning behind us. I don't understand how they knocked out all of our systems so quickly. Electromagnetic pulse mines. The revolutionaries that rescued me had planned to use them against the Cylons. It appears Marcus has co-opted them for his own use. Ooh. You shouldn't have left us, Sherman. The tides are turning, slowly but surely. Caprica will burn. As will this colony if you don't get out of the way. Everybody else continue patrolling your own ships. All right, they're on the move. I need to come about. I've got to protect the Daedalus. Unless I can truly if use the Vipers to knock these three targets out. I mean, it's possible. Got some fire on those enemy... Enemy Vipers? Oh, just immediately annihilated them. We've got incoming, incoming fire! Vipers are on it. Multiple oh, marks. shit. Can't confirm IFF. Assuming hostile. More SDU come to mop us up. What the frack are the toasters doing here? Oh, no. Don't let them interfere. These traitors die today. Commander, the Cylons are weapons free and attacking the SDU forces. We, we might still get out of this. I don't think I've ever been happier to hear Dreda's blips confirmed as Cylons. I, okay, what direction are those Cylons coming from? Vipers have arrived. The Cylons have jumped in directly on top of us. <laughs> Look at this. So there's a three-faction fight going on. This is a first. We've never seen this before. That's crazy. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just wreck this manacore before they have a chance to fire those torpedoes. Uh, and by that I mean fire munitions. Kill that manacore. I believe in you. So this is two groups of assault raptors I've never used. Let's see what they can do to a manacore. That's gonna be fun. What do you got over here? You guys are attacking an adamant. I am 100% surrounded by mines now. Uh, we have two groups of incoming missiles. It's not good. Are they considered hostile? Are we like, are we doing this? I'm not so sure I'm supposed to fire at the Cylons. I mean, they're Cylons still. I'm gonna say yes. Let's slow it down a little bit. I'm going to backtrack. Actually, I'm going to accelerate you guys to a harder turn. 
and fire missiles on the next round, I think. You guys. Here we go. IFF confirms unit is hostile. They're fine. They're fine. They pushed right through Daedalus it. Is taking damage. Yeah, the Daedalus has already got armor down. We got to get over there. We're okay, though. We're so okay, in fact. J what is that? <gasps> what? War divers, war divers, war... Whoa, raiders and heavy raiders? That's new. A Cerberus. Okay. Honestly, I don't, I don't need flak over here. They don't have missiles. Now that we have full sensor range on this, yeah, they don't have any missiles. Let's kill the flak and switch to missiles. Let's get you guys spun around. Switch to combat mode. Torpedoes are away. Got to take those heavy Cylon ships out. We might lose Deadless if I don't get over there fast. How you doing, boys? Okay, so what's firing torpedoes at or missiles at us is actually that ranger in the back. Fire you munitions at that target. Ah, did we kill that? I think we did, or the Cylons did. The problem here is if we kill this ranger, that's gonna leave. We're gonna have to fight all this on our own. Looks like they're too. They're exchanging fire, so we're okay here. That'll keep them busy. Um, yeah, we gotta kill the ranger. Our fighters should be almost there to stop those enemy missiles from the next wave. Daedalus is taking damage. I know, I know, we're on our way. Missiles away. We have incoming, oh, we have incoming missiles. Oh, we're gonna be able to turn the flak on maybe just in time. Flak? Ah. Everybody, all three of you, flak. Open up. We've got multiple mines dead ahead. Hard to starboard. We must let them fight. We'll let the fighters get work done and we'll keep hitting them with the long range missiles, push them off the deadless shipyards. Ah, we still took the hits. We need Squadron to switch this around now. Yeah, there goes one of them. Come on, Raptors, get out of there. More missiles are coming in. He is still doing damage from way out there. Thankfully, the Vipers are starting to close in. You're still on defense mode, right? Yes, you are. That's true. The recall should pull them back, and they are on defense mode, so we might be all right. Fighters are getting all kinds of work done right now. Another target destroyed there. All right, let's see how they do. Catching those missiles. Nicely done. But they're getting in a gun range now. Not good. We got to get over there. The adamant fleet's already on their way. Squadron has gone dark. Target destroyed. Looks like we... Yeah, we lost another raptor. So it would have been better to just... I don't know. Keep them in there? They wouldn't have any ammo left, though. Oh, yeah. Those torpedoes are good hits. 100%. Carry on. I believe in the vipers. Come on. Come on, vipers. Nice, another target destroyed. And our Vipers are cleaning up the War Divers. Oh, there's emergency jump out. They left. Somebody left. Are the Cylons coming about? Now the Cylons are coming to kill us. Looks like they were just trying to kill some. Oh, there's another mine. Oh, it's our PCM. We're okay, we're okay. Changing off attack posture and moving to get into engagement range with the Cylons. Let them loose! Beep, 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 Nice. Hacking us. Combat mode, let's go! Artemis. With the Dauntless, the Noctis, and the Nightmare, and suddenly all of our weapons turn. Oh yeah, he's dead. Missiles incoming. Taking damage. 
that ranger is engaged that talon. I like this three-way fight. This is cool. This is very different. He shouldn't survive this round. Not with our adamants getting it work. Achievement unlocked. Achievement progress. Grab, grab your gun and bring in the cat. Look at those missiles. The stack. And then we're weapons. And it is. Not only survivor, but no casualties. Then seek me on the shores of Elysium. I failed to shake the Capricorn yoke from our necks. But our cause was just. Our cause was just. What did this fool's plan get you, Marcus? You told me on set to Teron you wanted better for your people, not this. You were supposed to be better than this. Lords of Kobold have mercy on your soul, Sherman. I know, there's such a pain. Eliminate all hostile forces. Uh, yeah, we just got to intern. He's got two health left. Cylon down. All marks are dark. Contact zone is clear. All have disarmament teams clean up the zone before the other response fleets arrive. Nice. Oh, yeah. We got them. We got the new... The new carriers. All right, let's get this carrier named. As always, the fleet names come from the Patreon side of things. So if you are interested in being a part of it, my way of saying thanks, the patrons. Uh, this ship is going to be the Orion by Cassie. Who is this? Captain Colet. The Orion. Done. Our first carrier. We got the roaster toaster and the red dragon. Um, you guys are all gonna be one fleet. Let's put the roaster toaster in there. And we will name this fleet once it gets a little bit stronger. If you guys have some ideas for names, let me know in chat or in the comments section. Uh, let's go. You know, I kind of want to. Well, first, repair the fleet. Barely any damage. That four was just to replace probably those raptors, to be honest. Uh, Hammer, you got a mission next to you. What is this mission? We suspect the president's plan to pass through here was leaked. His security advisor was on his oh, way the to would be nice. inspection. Yeah, I think we might do that. We need the Tilium. When we do that, we'll get 700. And the reluctant endeavor is ready to kick some names and take some... You can't jump. You're not ready for combat yet. And you're a fleet of unknown strength. Let's see. What are these strength fleets? So the fleet up north is 6,850. That is a that is a big fleet. We got an 1,800. No, that's the one. That's the one in system with the... De oh, the Deadless. Oh, no. All right. There's a Cylon fleet up north, which is very badly damaged. And then there's one back here, which is 1,800, which we can just straight up knock out of the way if we can catch it. Repair fleet. Wow, you got some damage to you. Woof. 155 on the repair. We've also got a mission. The negotiation. Sir, I've just intercepted an encrypted message. I've brought it mm -hmm. straight to you. What is it? It's from the Cylon. I request peaceful negotiations with the operational commander of the Daedalos. No Admiral Kane. No members of Quorum. Send a proxy to the following coordinates at Geminon to facilitate these communications. Why does the civilian here have to point out that this is clearly a trap? Commander, normally I would agree with Sinan, but I can't shake the feeling that Clothos knows something that we don't, but clearly should. We're so far in the dark right now, we may as well be flying blind. Mm. We obviously tell our people to prepare for an ambush, but... I think it's worth the risk for whatever information Clothos is prepared to share. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Sinan. It's super obvious. Thanks, though. EMP mine blueprint unlocked. EMP mines from the last mission. Which no one has been able to use properly. I think I've only set off one mine this entire campaign, and I don't think I've ever had the enemy manage to fly into one of my mines. 
But, sure, we'll take EMP mines. Why not? Uh, I'll take that Tilium. And the opportunity to knock out this fleet would be nice. Let's just send the Shadow Chaser to deal with you. And let's send Sword Fleet to deal with the mission. Fleet group is ready to jump. No screwing around. Also, uh, shipbuilding. We do have 1,500. We can put another ship on the on the Barbie. So let's pick up uh, a Manicor. Cheap. Also, well, the only thing that'll fit. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only thing that'll most likely fit in. Let's double check that. Let's see, how many enemy points do you have? You're six, 600 free is what we're at. 7,200 to 8,000. So if that's the case, building ships, we could get... Uh, they can't take a support ship because the Daedalus is the support ship for that fleet. All right. I think this is it, guys. Two missions, maybe knocking out one Cylon threat. Oh, I am bad at math. Hang on. Going back. You're absolutely right. It's 800. It's 800. We can have uh, a Berserk. We can, put, we can put an Adamant in the fleet. What do we not? We don't really need another Adamant. I still think the Scout's the best choice. Because the problem with the fleet right now is it's so slow. And it has no sensor range. Yeah, no, we're gonna stick with it. We're gonna stick with it. Even though we could put an Adamant in there and it would give us more fighters. I think that's a it's a better choice to have the scout. Doesn't do us any good if we can't get into freaking sensor range. Also, new can be flown flown to target. Also, it's very cheap too. All right, let's do it. Got a new contact on Dreadus. Is under attack. One hundred percent chance for victory. Uh, yes, auto resolve. Wonderful. We've relieved. I'm not quite relieved that. Uh, oh, hammer. Are you wounded from the last battle? No, this is the mission. This is the mission up here. All right, proceeding to mission. Cool. All right, next mission. This is the actual story mission, and we got Cylons everywhere. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, proceed. Sword. All right, we got a wall of doom in front of us, and if anything is, if we've learned anything about these scripted missions, it's that they have. Like the the they're always going to throw stuff in behind us, is what it seems like. All right, Mark twos, Mark twos. Let's go with guided missiles. Guided missiles, guided missiles. Uh, space Mutiny, I'm gonna put torpedoes on you. And you're gonna get the... Hmm, you know what? Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. The Ranger, you should be able to fire these really fast, right? So I'm gonna give you PCMs. Fragile contents. You're gonna get PCM, so that gives us. Mm, no, we already have PCMs. Scratch that. In the rear, kind of high. Battle star as low as we can go. The homebound. Concordia. The Concordia and the Raven together on the left wing, flanked by our ammunition boat slash logistic ship. In the far back. Adamant and Battlestar stacked, backing each other up. That gives us an idea, like a, a few ideas on how we can respond to enemy, enemy movement. Yeah, music's good. We just need a lock. We got a lock. We can send so many missiles at the target. I'm really happy we've got a scout in this fleet. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. A dual PCM one. Ranger? Oh, interesting. Dreadus contact, sir. They're openly broadcasting Cylon IFFs. No hostile movements, but no sign of Clothos either. This is the meeting.
All right, all right. So both fleets are moving up to the meeting point. Let's see what happens. Just litter the field with ECMs. That would have been really funny. I don't actually want to engage at close range, so we'll send the scout forward. That's like the meeting ship. Diplomatic relations. Diplomatic immunity. Commander, you are expected. I we were invited. But thanks. No, we want to go up. Rest of the fleet. Keep on keeping on. I assume we're out of plating range. Uh, weirdly, no, we're not out of plating range. We are being observed. Bring your proxy within short wave range so that we can use more secure channels. Receiving handshake protocols between the base star and our ship. Base it's star. Heavy stuff. Woo! No one's going to listen in on this conversation. Okay. Let's just keep moving and dodging, just in case. Boosts off. Full defense mode for long range scan potential. And uh, we'll move a little bit farther. I kinda wish I had a nuke on this, just in case. All right, victory's flame. I know I just sent you into the hornet's nest. Commander, your escalation of resistance must stop. <laughs> Is it serious? It actually expects us to roll over because it said so? I am the first of three IL models. We are the generals, the logic, the trinity of the Cylon, and I am humanity's only chance at continued survival. As the first of the IL, it is my purpose to perfect the Cylon form. To fulfill this divine mandate, I manufactured a war profitable to both our peoples. Okay. Keep talking, Cylon. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer to your fleet to get a nice deep scan. See what we're dealing with here. Although it strives for peace, humanity is most prolific in conflict. New technologies every day, domestic, military. What you invent, we integrate. Each iteration an evolutionary leap for my people. Commander, you can't trust this robot. We're putting our people at risk for some Cylon evolutionary conspiracy. That might as well be... I am not here to attack your proxy. I require your cooperation, as you require mine. I seek negotiation. As a display of trust, I have diverted full control of my base star to the commander's console. My liberty is completely within your control. What? You gave me a base star? Can I keep it? Look at this doom donut. Guided missiles, guided missiles, heavy raiders, heavy raiders. Uh, it can't, I can't change its power distribution. Is that just not a thing Cylons get? Very interesting. Look at this fleet they've got. All right, we're going to cycle back, gain some altitude, and I think that'll be ba almost a full scan. <laughs> yeah, people aboard this manticore are sweating bullets right now. Commander. Some of the Cylon forces are activating. To minimize losses on both sides, this system of conflict must no! be stabilized. Escalation will only lead to humanity's ruin. Admiral Kane's unbridled ambition risks all of- Sir, the Cylons are attacking their own base star. We are too late. Lachesis wakes. My fate remains in your hands. Until the FTL drive resets, my base star is under your control, Commander. One of the new humanoid-like Cylons, it sounds like, just woke up. I've got missiles inbound on both the... Oh, man. Uh, Victory's Flame, we gots to get you out of here. You're in trouble. You're in lots and lots of very... Oof. Okay, launch fighters. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Launch raiders and lock guided missiles on target. We're going to go for the missile boat in the back there. 
somebody fire. Uh, these are torps, so I'm less concerned about firing these. Uh, we're gonna go after what I think we can actually hit, which is that. And dive. I want you to skim the surface of that freaking base star. Let's slow down. Am I gonna... Am I gonna deploy armor on the... Oh my god, I am. I'm gonna repair the base star. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. This is a thing that's happening. We're defending a Cylon ship. Didn't expect the campaign to go here, to be honest. Really didn't. You're gonna have war divers out soon, aren't you? What's our line of fire look like? We can hit that. Fire missiles. The rest of the fleet's gotta move. We gotta defend the base star. <laughs> so we gotta get out there. Uh, next turn, we will have... I'm trying to gain altitude on these guys so that we can get over the rest of the fleet while we fire these missiles. I'm a little concerned about it. What else we got? Nothing yet. Fighters will be out in a second. How much helmet do you have? And you are a tanky beast. 200 hull. Not, not in the armor. Its armor's kind of crap, but its overall hull's pretty good. All right. So it was sort of a betrayal slash trap, but what not are really. Orders, sir? We're Fight. so far off script here. I've got no idea what we're supposed to do. You require incentive. Very well. Deliver me from my executioners, and I will return to you the first of Sinon's miscreations. Commander, how does it know Sinon? The Architect was responsible for much of our growth during the Capricorn Rebellion. It's lying. Sinon couldn't. He designed the Jupiters specifically to destroy the Cylon. Likewise, the Architect is culpable for many of our deaths. Thousands of lives lost on both sides. You don't get to say that. Robots don't die. Robots are destroyed. Death is death for all of God's creatures. There is no reincarnation, no reversion. A centurion there, there destroyed is a Cylon murder. I haven't murdered. built that part yet. Um, they, that whole, um, they can basically die and come back. It was like a ship in the original series, in the, in the remake series that lets them do just that. Uh, all right. So we've got like heavy raiders. Now, I believe you mark ones can do a defense and start knocking out some of those enemies. Oh, we need to start rotating. Yes, sir. Yeah. You start rotating as hard as you can. We're just going to spin it like a top. Whereas the heavy, I'd imagine, is some kind of bomber. Ooh, he can totally bo go board that ship. <gasps> We're sending! Wow. We're Yep, that's happening. That is a thing that's happening. Torps! Log on to that target and fire. Missile tubes prepped. If we're lucky... On it, Commander. They'll keep their fire focused solely. Rangers. How many were I... Uh, raider. Raider. They're all raiders? <laughs> hey, guys. They're all raiders. <laughs> fire the missiles! There's no reason to hold back now. Zero reason to give a shit. On it, we are going in. Or we don't even have to go in. We just got to shoot missiles until cows come home. Switch to combat mode. You sit pretty in the back. Yes, Commander. Let's gain some altitude. Vipers. Break off. God, I can't believe it. Vipers, break off and go defend that base star. Raider, 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 Raider. Ah, uh, we got war divers coming in on the right. You're right. Two groups. Manticore is taking damage. Oh, that Manticore is going to die. Yeah, we're going to lose the Manticore. Fighter squad the victory is flying. Fire. Sir, 
Sir, there good hits, this was in the top. We can't locate him aboard Daedalus. Uh, of course you can't. Leave him unharmed, Commander. Allow me your architect, and I will give you the Galactica and what remains of its crew. It's got the Galactica? What about my sister? You fracking toaster. Is Samantha Agathon alive? Your lieutenant's line of questioning is inconsequential. Commander, if that thing has hurt Sam, I swear I will personally hunt it down and scrap it for parts. Woo! Left armor is completely shot. Logistics. It's hard to tell even where the left armor is. Uh, keep repairing that left armor then. Need to keep rotating. Keep rotating it like a top. We gotta draw some fire off that base star. Pfft, wow, you guys don't get any maneuverability at all, do you? You guys are engaging the war divers. Good. If you can kill those war divers, we'll actually be looking pretty good. Um, those missiles look like they're gonna hit. Let's see what happens. Squadron has gone dark. Oh yeah, I sent the heavy raider in for a board. That's right. So they should be on one of these. Alright, your artillery is opening up. So say we all. We're ready for some guided missiles, but we need those war divers dead. Where are they at? Uh, they might actually be destroyed. Get two more hostiles approaching. Incoming. Rotate, rotate. It's working. It's working. Another target destroyed. That is the biggest fuzzball we have had yet. Look at that. Fighters everywhere. I'm gonna let the Vipers get work done. Oh, we have an unidentified contact. Is it? You don't have any Raider, Raider, Raider. Okay. Uh, Raider, Raider. You have. Mm. That's good. No, that's actually not that bad. That's not that bad. So say we all. That just means we're gonna have to deal with uh, more fighters, but it's not gonna stop me from doing this. Actually, is that worth it? Yes, yes it is. Fire everything. Fire all six salvos. Full combat mode. I need to see what these are. They're farther away than they look. Dropping a PCM on us. PCM's prepped. Focus your fire on the target above you. Come on, Vipers. You gotta clear the skies. Look at all of those missiles. Three turns until the next shot. The Vipers are losing pilots badly. I mean, they are outnumbered considerably. There isn't a lot of fire that I can give them except for maybe some cover from the Adamant who is taking that left-hand side damage. Artemis is taking damage. Hostile unit identified. And Artemis' armor has gone down. Incoming. Shit. The homebound is getting nailed. They've switched their fire. So say we all. Not good. They've switched their fire. Flak, left-hand side. Get it online. Full defense mode. All right. I don't know if the homebound's going to be able to make it out of there. Artemis All is this for damage. freaking Cylon. Hard turn, hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. We don't have any bottom That's armor, though. And that back. damn Talon's in Friendly perfect firing range. Down. She's down. We lost the Admiral. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Homebound got deleted in like two rounds. Look at it. It's going up in flames right now. Uh, we've almost got the Revenants down. Oh, that sucks. I did not expect that massive amount of focus fire. Adamant's next. It's getting out of range, though. We are saving that Cylon. Adamant is taking damage. How's the Cylon doing? Still alive. I still have four ships in the back. We did manage to kill one, though. I had to kill two. He might get out of range. There's missiles chasing him. 
All right, combat mode. Throw those guided missiles into yes, that. Yes, and man. that. How's that fighter battle doing? We won the fighter battle. Oh, I can't believe it. Man, Vipers are fantastic. They're so good. They're so freaking good. Gotta win this fight. Another storyline mission. The torpedo hits. Subsystem is back online. Adamant is... Oh, still not out of firing range. All right, Berserk, drop. Yes, Commander. You keep moving. Oh, this isn't heavy losses yet. Heavy losses is going to be losing more ships. Yeah, it sucks to lose the um, the homebound, and the Victory's Flame is sad to lose, but it was a mana core. I can build one for 120. They're really, really cheap. It's stuff like losing an Adamant and then a Janus would really suck at this point. We walk out of here with one loss. Well, it is what it is. I will accept it. Okay, you guys are like the heaviest armored thing I've got. So we're going to wrap you around, start forcing forwards, and use those bottom guns to start shelling them. Adamant is taking damage. Adamant's almost out of there. And they have switched all of their fire to us. The base star is safe. We're still fighting the enemy squadrons. Are they launching new squadrons? Because they've got like a billion. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's kill that. Let's start fixing the tech bay. We got one turn on the next salvo of missiles there. And we're ready on the salvo here. You guys are going to eat those fighters. Good shit. Good shit. Looking all right. You got missiles, CF? Yes, you do. Let them have it. Missile tubes prepped. Let's go. Let's go. Good hits, good hits, good hits, good hits. All right, tar that target's destroyed. Next round. Logi ship, come on back. Deploy plating on our... I'm a little concerned about... Honestly, I'm kind of concerned about you. But you're out of firing range. Can't fix you. The Janices are kind of stuck in it, which is okay. This is actually not a bad place for them. They can shoot down. Top armor is done there. Let's get you both focus firing. On that target. The Manticore may be cheap to build, but that's 7 to 800 crew each ship. For me, true, but casualties happen. I think people are too comfortable with the idea of me playing through, like, Empire War and barely getting any losses. This game's a bit more brutal. Nice! Look at that wave of missiles. Good stuff. We broke their backs now. Kind of monsters from above. I should have rushed these in a bit fast. Well, I guess I couldn't because they're super slow. Oh, the space mutiny. You're so beat up, buddy. Don't you even think Honor about commander. going in. Just get lower and fire missiles. I'll even slow you down, put you in combat mode. Guided missiles away. Turn the berserk around. Start putting rounds down. Taking a little bit of fire from the Cerberus. It was the sudden focus fire shift that really shocked the hell out of me with that battle star. Oh, he's doing some damage to the bottom of that Janus. Oh, the missiles. Alright, does anybody have any missiles left? Still got 
gonna turn left on that. Janices are ready to fire. That'll be enough fire to kill it. End it. Send it and end it. To whom it may concern. Aw. Your efforts in securing my personal safety have been satisfactory, Commander. Do not pursue Sinon. We shall return the crown jewel of Colonial Fleet in return for its creator's freedom. I have use for the shipbuilder. Daedalus security confirms that Sinon has fled. He took one of our raptors and jumped during the conflict. That didn't go as quietly as we'd have liked. We'll just have to hope Kane agrees that a traitor for the Galactica is a good trade. Wait, does that mean we just got Battlestar Galactica? Let's see. But I doubt it. I bet we have to do a mission to go get his stupid face. How much you want to bet? We got to go do a mission to get that get that freaking simon so we can get the Battlestar back if we can get galactica back i'd love to have galactica back especially since we just lost the battle star it'd be nice to get another one back we got a fleet to put him in oh man but we did it we rushed everybody in there we protected the cylon and now we've got a new mission which is right over here which is chapter 11 sign and quaid we've received a communique from libran sir it's admiral kane and she's not happy. We are at war, Commander. We cannot afford traitors to flourish in our ranks unpunished. Is that my fault? The Quorum wants Sinon brought to the intercolonial courts on treason charges immediately. Capture him. Fairly certain you assigned Alive. him to me. Otherwise, I'll have you and Agathon escorted from the Daedalus in handcuffs. Commander, Sinon didn't have time to disable his navigation transponder before jumping, so we've got a pretty good pin on his location. Priority objective is to retrieve Sinon from the Cylons, alive. Then maybe we can hmm. go looking for Galactica before Kane changes her mind and relieves us anyway. In the Jupiter, the Jupiter's a Battlestar class, isn't it? Yeah, that was the one that they showed at the beginning of the, of the game, I think. Oh man, requires a Raptor squadron with a mission marker to go get him. How awful do you think this is gonna be? Well, we'll find out as we hunt down the traitor next time. On Battlestar Z. See you guys in the next episode. Later, everybody!